Now remember, if you like this content, <laughs> please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Hey everybody, this is Six Shot from RRC Family Gaming, and today I'm bringing you a hyper aggro Rakdos deck uh, based around vampires. Uh, very low curve. I'm talking 1.7 average, so super low to the ground, super fast. Let's get into the deck. Oh, and it's called The Lost Boys, based off the 87, 1987 uh, vampire horror movie uh, with the killer soundtrack. So definitely, if you like 80s uh, movies or if you like 80s music, definitely check out The Lost Boys. Timeless classic. All right, let's get into the deck. All right, so let's, we're going to start off with some cheap removal. We got Blood uh, Chief Thirst. Great utility card. It's good to kill uh, small creatures with low uh, mana cost. And if they happen to have uh, three or more man uh, mana cost, then you could still kill them. You just have to pay the kicker of three. So very cool. Gets rid of that token. You know, just one black will get rid of that token uh, from Ren. So a really nice card. Gets rid of the uh, pack leader um, and a bunch of other cheap creatures that are big threats in the meta right now. Uh, we're going with uh, some duress. We got three duress in the deck uh, because we need to. We need help in the control matchups. We need to get rid of the board wipes. If we can get rid of their board wipes, we have enough time to finish them off. Uh, so duress is huge. And even if it's an aggro matchup, I mean, think about it. Mono green, you can get Ranger class. You can get an Asika's Chariot. You can get a Ren and Seven. Um, so there's a lot of stuff. You can get a Blizzard Brawl or an Inscription. Um, from their hand. So there's definitely duress has a lot of usage uh, Very versatile card in, in today's meta. I mean, I think it's awesome And it's cheap and it only costs one um, We got the pit fighter. This is our first vampire for the deck. Uh, it costs one. It's a two one and also has a nice uh, Mid to late game ability I would say where you can pay to discard a card and then sacrifice a vamp You get to draw two cards. You can only activate it after your opponents lost life this turn keep in mind if you do play this deck, you can use this ability after you attack with, let's say you have a Hunger for More. You paid for the Hunger for More and only cost two to come out. You do the Hunger for More, you create that token. Remember, the token's going to get sacrificed anyways at the beginning of your next M step. Why not use her ability to sacrifice the token and then maybe just since the curve is so low on this deck, maybe just throw a, chuck a land, discard a land, and then you get to draw two cards. That's a nice little combo, nice little synergy right there. Just keep that in mind, guys. You can use it. You can use the Hunger for More token, sack it to the Pit Fighter, and then boom, you get to draw two cards. So really cool little synergy that I, I found out, you know, I discovered uh, while playing. Uh, we also have Play with Fire, another cheap removal, cheap uh, face. You know, we can go to the face or hit some small creatures. Um, it's cooler if you hit the face because then you get to scry. But either way, nice cheap removal for the deck. Uh, we have a raise the effigy. I just put a one of. This is to help us um, in the uh, mono green matchups or the mono white if they play Rendane with the shield. Um, it get, gets rid of the shield, gets rid of uh, Isika's chariot, um, and some other you know powerful artifacts that are out there in the meta. And if not, let's say they don't have any artifacts, you're playing against mono red, or you know you're playing against uh, something that you know doesn't require, uh, doesn't really have any powerful artifacts. You can use it for the attacking ability. So target attacking creature gets plus two, plus two. A nice little ambush there. Um, and it's only it's instant, and it only costs one. Uh, we also have Lunar Frenzy. This one's awesome because it gives your creature the first strike and trample. So you could pay X, or you could just pay one red to just activate the first strike and trample. Either way, it's a nice card and can help you finish games. Uh, we got the Berserker. He's not a vampire, obviously, but he goes so nicely in the deck because a lot of our spells are so cheap that... More often than not, we we're, we can uh, pop his ability. You know, get that second spell, boom, he gets the plus two, our plus our two plus one plus one counters, and he gains the menace. So a nice little addition to the deck, and he can win you games if they don't pay attention to him. If they don't pay attention to him, or that he gets out of hand uh, too too fast for them, guess what? They're 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 struggling. Uh, we got another vampire, the adversary, really cool card. She has haste, only cost two, two two haste. And she has a nice pump up ability. When you pay three, you get to uh, put a plus one plus one counter on her, and then you get to pick, you get to target a instant or sorcery from your graveyard that costs three or less, and you can replay it that turn. So nice synergy. You have the berserker out. You have five mana available. You you play the bloodthirst. You pump her. Uh, she copies a spell. Guess what? That's two spells. That pumps up the blood sky. So that's a nice little synergy right there with the blood sky. 
Um, we got Royal Eruption to do more face damage, and it has a nice ability. The Kicker, obviously, is super expensive, but if you do happen to kick it um, for five more, you get to do five damage instead of three. So that could help you uh, win the game, help you give you that final damage. Um, we got the Hunger for Morse, which, which, which we already talked about, the 3-1 uh, Black and Red Vampire token that has Trample, Life Link, and Haste. And uh, then you sacrifice it at the next end step. What's cool about this card, too, is it has flashbacks. So you get it to use it twice in a game. Um, shoot, you, if you have five mana, you could use it twice and then, boom, pump up the Blood uh, Sky uh, Berserker. So that would be pretty sweet. Uh, you'd have all those guys attacking. He'd be uh, buffed up with the Menace. And then you'd have two, three, one Tramples coming at your opponent. Um, the Vampire Socialite, this is a nice card, too. She has Menace. She's a 2-2 two, two for a one red, one uh, swamp. Uh, whenever, if opponent lost life um, this turn and she enters a battlefield, she'll put a plus one, plus one counter on each other vampire you control. And then if if uh, your opponent's lost turn, or sorry, lost life, any other vampire that enters a battlefield gets a plus one, plus one counter. So it's really nice. She's like our nice uh, little um, uh, pump up for our vamps. Uh, we're running once uh, Shatter Skull Smashing to help uh, with the wider mashups. Uh, we got, which uh, which is a nice modular card. Plus, you know, it's a modular, and then, you know, you can target two creatures with this one, so it's really sweet. Uh, we got the Florian. This is to help uh, keep us with some gas, you know, give us the gas. Uh, we get the, uh, to dig through. Just keep in mind with Florian, um, you want to probably hold off on playing your land until after post-combat. So play your land on the on the second main phase, uh, because just in case you attack in, you do like seven damage, but you only have one mana op open, and when you're looking through the seven cards, everything costs two or more. You don't want to exile it, you know, if you don't have to, so that way you can get it later. So if you pick a land and you hadn't played your land, you could use that land and play it, and it doesn't get exiled, and you don't waste a card. So just keep that in mind. Sometimes you can, you know, sometimes you have to play the land in the beginning. Um, just to, to get the double spells with the Berserker. But if not, yeah, try to play the land after after uh, combat. Uh, we got an Agadim's Awakening to help with the uh, with um, board wipes and stuff. Um, so this is really sweet. And all our creatures don't... I think the most... Yeah, Florian costs three. So besides Florian being a three, um, three mana producing... Or a three mana creature, everything else costs one or two. So... With six mana, we could uh, get back three creatures. Not too bad. Uh, so that will definitely help with the board wipes. Um, this is uh, Hive. This is going to help with the flashback cards, you know, removing stuff that, you know, you want to get some type of graveyard hate, especially in this meta, especially with all the flashbacks. And it's not just control decks that have flashbacks. I mean, you've seen Angel Fire Ignition um, and the Boros matchup. So you definitely want some type of graveyard hate. Hive can do it for you. Um, we got the four pathways, we got the three ridges, so yeah, this is the deck, um, like I said, I, I did this one like I did my Fist of Fury deck, I just did a bunch of matches, trying to tweak it, uh, to, to try to get, to try to get it to where I liked it, um, so you'll see the win rate at the end of the video, we'll go over the win rate, we'll go over possible, some possible changes in the conclusion, um, uh, but yeah, this is the deck, man, let's get into it, let's get into some matches and see how it does. All right, what do we got? Wrestling. What's his name? Wrestling seventy four. All right, um, we can keep this. Let's go. Go first. Let's get the pit fighter down. Okay. Let's get some damage in. That way she gets a counter put on. There we go. We got some removal. We got some ambush with the frenzy. What do we want to do? Let's do this. There we go. Put the pressure, baby. Let's put the pressure. There we go. Half life already. Okay. Okay. Please, please activate that chariot to block. 
All right. What do we do? Let's do black. Okay. Let's go in. See what he does. Gonna double block. Okay. One, two, three. There we go. Ambush. And we still get damage in. There we go. Alright. It's down to six. Almost in range of Royal Eruption. We can hit another land. Another one, huh? If we could hit another land, we could do uh, Adversary. Combo to... There it is. There it is. Auto pay. So what we're going to do... Let's just get hungry for more. Um, so it's an extra body. There we go. All right, let's swing in. All right. That has trample. All right, so take one there. It'll take two there. All right, we got him with Royal. Uh, next turn. Royal next turn. Unless they gain some life. But then they also need two creatures to block the socialite. Let's finish this guy off. Okay, that's not going to do it. Good game. Alright, who do we got? Julio! Julio! Alright, uh, oh yeah, we'll keep this. We'll keep... We're not on the play though, that sucks, but that's okay. Alright, let's play the Pit Fighter. Alright. Uh, is it? Hopefully we can get in some duresses. I mean, if he counters it... It's a flashback, so we can do it next turn. Alright, yeah. Main decking this? Wow, okay. What do you do if you go against Mono Green? That has nothing for Mono Green. Okay. This is a matchmaker just uh, sticking it to us. I'm telling you guys. All right, let's play the Scion, the Florian. All right, Dragon Fire. We'll get the Hungry for Morale, gain some life. Okay. All right. Um, let's go ahead and attack. Okay, Dragon Fire. Yep. Okay, we'll play the Zerk. And we'll do three to the face. Next turn, um, we have a multi uh, spell turn. We can do Hungry for More and then Lunar Frenzy. Um, what do we want to do? Uh. All right. Let's do Hungry for More. And then Lunar Frenzy. He's going to block one of them. There we go. Boom. Right there. Let's kill his egg. There we go. Yes, now he's a 5-5. Five, five. 
So unless he's swinging with uh, the uh, the bigger dragons, he's got gold span. The dragon fire is not going to kill him. So he's going to need to be ha he's going to have to have the bigger dragons to take out the zerk. And then we're going to do a double double up again with the adversary. And this time we'll probably use royal to get the extra to get the extra um, uh, damage in. All right, never mind. He countered it. All right. Let's see what we get on top. There's a lot of things that can help us. Um, another frenzy. Florian would be nice because then we could start digging. All right. Well, he doesn't have creatures. All right. He's down to two. Next turn, if we draw a spell, we can make him bigger and give him a. Uh, Give them um, evasiveness with the menace. Good game. Yes. All right, you cop. Let's go, you cop. You cop. All right. We'll keep this. Throw down the uh, mountain so we have uh, play with fire open just in case we need it. All right, we want to get rid of that. Take away some uh, potential ramp. All right, let's go black. Start getting in some damage. Okay. All right, uh, we got some options next turn. If he drops the wolf, we got the blood chief and the royal. Save the royal, probably use the blood chief. Yep. All right. Get rid of that. Alright. We'll probably use the play with fire to go to face. To scry. Okay, the innkeeper. Okay. Is that the floor region? Yep. Um, let's do this. We'll keep that. Damage is already dealt, so she gets the pump. And then we can, um... We have multiple ways, so we'll get him in and then we'll kill something. Kill the mammoth with the royal. Okay. Alright. Let's play the Zerk. Oh no. Ah. Hmm. He might trade. He might trade. Uh, let's do this. Let's kill that. That way the Zerk gets bigger. And then we get free two damage here. Alright. There's a trade and we got the Zerk bigger. Alright. Oh. What do you have in your deck? Um. Alright. Okay, let's go ahead and attack. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to play this uh, tapped. All right, He's using a festival. He probably had the storm. Is that what it is? That why you didn't play anything last turn? The storm. Because now you can do the storm. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So he's probably going to play Storm the Festival. I think. Maybe. Okay. Uh, we're short. Um, I mean, I could gamble. You can only block one creature.
Huh. Because I could play Florian attack. He blocks the Berserker. Shoselite gets in for two. Maybe I hit a land and then I could Royal Eruption for the win. Um, let's just do it this way. Okay. It's gonna fight. He's probably gonna fight the Berserker. I think. Yeah. Oh no, he gained a life. Um, well, that sucks. Let's get this down. Get gets bigger. Now I could block the uh, faceless. Well, I could block the faceless anyways. All right, so he's probably sitting on another one. Yeah, he's sitting on another one. All right. Um, okay. See if we can do some damage here. Okay. He's going to gain six life with the inscription. He'll gain, no, he'll gain four life. Okay, so it looks like he's going to gain life and then block or fight, sorry, fight the socialite and then block the berserker. Okay. I think. No, that won't save him. He needs to gain life. Okay. Alright, that's game. There we go, good game. Alright, Zenya. Zenya. Alright, oh my goodness, no black. Um, let's keep, and then we'll go straight to the face. Scry, scry for some black. There it is. All right, we're good. We're good. All right, landfall deck. All right. Next turn, we do Zerk, and then Blood Chief is uh, Hound, or maybe Lotus. Let's see what he what he drops. Probably Lotus. Get rid of that Lotus. Oh, nope. We're getting rid of the brush fire. Uh, no block. No blitz. We'll get rid of the brush. Okay. Get rid of that. Okay. Hopefully we can hit another spell or a creature or something. Then we could uh, more than likely play, since we'll have four lands, we'll be able to play two spells next turn. Probably has some type of fight spell. I'm guessing. Alright, he's destroying his land. He gets two lands, so it's like a landfall uh, trigger. Okay. Uh, no blocks. Alright, there we go. Um, okay, let's play Duress. Alright, let's get rid of that. And then let's go ahead and attack in. And let's go. Oh, man. These guys are big. You're not the only one that can throw, bro. Yeah. If we hit a land, we have three creatures attacking, two five fives, and a menace for three. I think we got him. I think we got him, guys. You're not the only hyper-aggressive deck in the meta. That's right. Vampire Rakdos, bro. Come on! Good game! Alright, moving at the moment. 
or moving ATM, moving at the moment. All right, let's keep. Let's get the the red down first, so we can do the fire. All right, we'll wait though. See if he pops something that we need to take it take care of like that. Let's get rid of his ramp. All right, we got Zerk, and we got multiple cheap spells. That's what we need. So what next turn? I'll probably do another Zerk, and then just pop the Lunar Frenzy. Um, so that should be good. And then both of them will grow. If we hit a land. If we don't hit a land, I'll just play uh, the uh, Zerk. Let's see. Alright. Oh, it's a ramp. Okay, we hit the land. Let's play this. Let's play this. I don't think he's gonna block. That'd be sweet if he did, though. Yes! Yes! We got him, guys! We got him! Woo! First strike! And they get bigger. Triple. Boom! Yes! And we got a multi... Well, we have to hit another land to get another multi-turn spell. Okay, we can kill that. Alright, we didn't get a land, but we need to kill that now. Um, How do we do this? I really don't want to trade with them. Yeah, I don't want to trade with him. Let's get rid of that now. I wish we had one, uh, a small spell to play, but it happens. Alright. We need to hit a one drop. Okay, we can take care of these guys. Alright, we got this. Let's go. Alright. Let's go. Nothing? Oh, we're gonna have to do that. Now they're five fives. This this guy's almost dead, guys. We are thrashing mono green right now. Holy shite. Man. Hyper! Rakdos, baby! Good game! Alright, going against Turtle. All right, uh, we'll keep this. Going against green. Let's get the pit fighter down. We have the frenzy. We got the frenzy so we can attack into something. All right. I don't think he'll block. But uh, let's find out. Highly doubt he's gonna block. So let's go ahead and kill it now. Okay, all right. We got multiple plays next turn. We'll play the uh, socialite, and we could do the uh, frenzy. Depending on what he plays. Okay. All right. Um. Play this. Day three life. All right, I want to take a look. Let's take a look at his hand. See if he's got a, a seek his chariot in there. Ooh, storm the festival. Let's get rid of that. So it's a landfall, landfall deck. All right. Um, and he's got another. Oh great, he's got another skyclave apparition. We need to save the royal for the scoop. So let's get this in. Gain some life. All right. All right. We'll do the royal eruption. Okay. He's gonna play his land. All right. Nope. 
Thing is, he won't block that. Um, we gotta get rid of that scoop. Let's get rid of the scoop. I need to hit land though. All right, he's gonna get a Shia down soon. All right, um... Yeah. Let's, uh... How do we do this? Let's go ahead and... Enter... We can play two creatures. Let's do that. Um, okay, do this, we'll swing in, all right, okay, so he's going to play a shy now, I'm assuming, or he's going to do a sky play, but he can only do one of them, so we'll probably do the adversary because it's bigger, that'll be to our advantage, as he can... The socialite can grow uh, our vamps that come in after I do damage. Okay. Um, first things first. Let's see if they block anything. I don't think they will. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. Alright, he's gonna play a Shia. Okay. We're gonna kill that. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Let's do some damage. Six. We can make him uh, six first strike trample attacks. So let's see what he's got. He's got one, two, three, four, six. All right, he can't block that. He can't block it. That's game. We got him. Let's go in. Good game, my friend. One, two, three, four. Auto pay. Good game. All right. I Itaru. Itaru. Taru. Alright, we'll keep. Throw down the red. So we can have the play with fire on demand. But probably we'll save it. But we'll see. We'll see. Alright. Okay. Let's get the Zerk. Alright. Okay, how do we do this? Right. Hmm. How do we do this? We're gonna kill. We're just we're not playing around. You know, Let, let's not play around because then he'll hit the blizzard brawl and kill us next turn with the with the wolf that we could have killed the turn before. We don't need the land. Let's go. We need some. We need some. Uh, we need some things. Please don't have a, another blizzard brawl. Or Blizzard Brawl with a two drop. All right. Okay. okay, guys, we can deal with that. We can deal with it. You know why? Because we're gonna have Menace. He'll be able to block still because the block will be clear, declared. But he's gonna go to five five with first strike and trample. So what are we gonna do here? We are gonna play this on black. We're gonna play the floor, the Florian. We're gonna swing in. Okay, he's gonna block. There we go, I told you. We had to wait though. We wanted to bait him in. We wanted to bait him in. There we go. Bam! See? That's how you do it. That's how you do it, guys. All right. I think we already played a land, so. I had to do it like that. Normally I wanna wait to play a land, but I had to do it so we can get the double, double cast ability in, okay? 
All right, we're looking good. We have a first striker that can take care. Good game. Man, we're killing Mono Green with this deck. Dang. All right, let's take a look at the, the stats. Um, the deck went uh, with the 60%. We had a 60% win rate, so not bad. It was 3-2 and two with the newer variant that I had built. Um, so it was not too bad. I mean, it was really good against aggro matchups. I mean, guys, I, I, I even with all the variants, because there, there was more matches, obviously, than these, uh, these five. Um, but throughout my whole play testing, I'm not joking, undefeated against mono green undefeated against mono green all the little tweaks um as i was making this deck as i was playing mono green i'd never lost to mono green it was unbelievable i couldn't believe it i could i still can't believe how bad this how much this dominates mono green i, I don't know what it is it just it dominates mono green i mean we're, we're, you know, we're a coin toss, maybe a little less than a coin toss against the heavy control matchups. You know what I'm talking about with the, the matchups that have Blood in the Snow, the Massacre, Doom Scar, you know, and they just basically fill their deck with um, board wipes. Uh, we're probably 50 50 50 or a little under that against those types of matchups. But other than that, I mean, the deck is so fast that uh, it's en it ends matchups quick. It ends matches quickly. So, um, the deck, you know, it's definitely viable. Um, right now I'm in gold. I just, I leveled up to, uh, tier, uh, tier two gold. So I really like the deck. Uh, let's go ahead and head into, um, let's actually get the deck back up so we can take a look. Uh, I think I have some ideas on some tweaks. All right. So yeah, let's take a look at the deck. So what I was thinking since we're, you know, we still have issues with control. I mean, the duress is definitely help in the control matchup. Um, but what I was thinking is a couple things. We could either add another Florian, you know, to give us more uh, card advantage. Uh, so that could be an option, adding more Florians. Um, also, what I was thinking too is adding more Agadim's Awakening. Because we don't have to take anything out of the deck. We just swap the Agadim because it's a modular land. We, we just take a regular basic swamp and then put some more Agadim's, maybe two or three more in here. And um, that'll give us, you know give us a card other than duress to handle the board wipes so we'll have duress to take out the, bo the board wipes early and if they wipe us you know if they top deck another board wipe and they wipe us we have the agadine agadines uh to bring back you know you know one to three creatures um there's no creature more than three in the deck so we would be at most paying six but we can get three creatures back um so that's that's another option that you could try but i mean the deck is really fun it's fast People sleep on the Berserker because he's in the budget deck. I don't care if he's in the budget deck. He, This guy, he's really good if you build around him. And you put vampires around him. Just like, guys, just like with Torraf. Nobody liked Torraf, okay? Nobody liked Torraf. They hated on Torraf. I com combined him with werewolves and fight spells. That deck is freaking, that's a banger. That's a banger deck. So, like I said, you know, there's, there's always going to be the naysayers. The Blood, Blood Sky Berserker, even though he's a budget card, doesn't matter. I don't care if he's a budget. If it's a good card, it's a good card. You build around the, the Berserker, he can be devastating. As you saw in the matches, Mono Green had no chance. Mono Green had no answer for this deck. Guys, I don't even know how many. I got to go back and look. I think there was like three or four matches of just Mono Green and me whooping them by like turn five. So, like I said, uh, Mono Green uh, has nothing on this deck. Um, yeah, you know, the control decks, um, they tend to get the better of us, but you know what? I'll take it, because if we could beat Mono Green consistently and then happen to lose to the control decks, we're going to see more Mono Green decks than control decks, um, in the, uh, in the, um, in the latter, at least from what I'm seeing. Um, I could, you know, it could be different in Platinum, uh, there could be more control -y type decks in Platinum, but in Gold, I'm seeing more green aggro decks, uh, versus the, uh, control -y decks. But, uh, yeah, so this deck is pretty solid. It's fun. It's fast. Um, I mean, I really like it. Like I said, there's there's other options. Maybe we add more burn, go the CGB route, and add more burn to the deck. I mean, he did win seven seven games in the la in the uh, the gold the gold standard event. So that could be a route we could take. Um, I think I think maybe adding more Agadames and maybe adding a fourth Florian and taking out um, maybe something that doesn't 
do direct damage, maybe taking out a Frenzy for the fourth Florian, and then just the Swamps, just do a straight uh, swap Swamps for the uh, the extra Agonemes. I think that'd be a way to go. Um, but anyways, you know, tr you know, if you guys have a chance to try the deck out, it's not too intense. Uh, it's actually outside the adversary. Let me see. Uh, okay, the Pit Fighters and the Florian, and then besides the lands. So the lands, lands, you know, but by now you should have at least the pathways. Um, and if you can get some ridges, get some ridges. Um, but it's not really that intense. Outside of the lands, it's not really that intense as far as rares and, and mythics. You got four mythics here, and then you got uh, three, seven rares. So that's not too bad. Um, but anyways, if you guys get a chance to try it, let me know if, you you know, adding more Agademes, um, or maybe adding that four Florian helped, or... You know, maybe add, like I said, maybe adding a little bit more burn. But other than that, I had fun playing the deck. It eats mono green. I love that that aspect. Um, so, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. We're trying to grow the channel. We're almost at 200 subscribers. Uh, so the channel's definitely growing. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you like and subscribe. <laughs>